Alex Pereira got saved tonight. If the UFC didn't make the fight at altitude in Utah, Khalil Roundtree would have knocked this dude out in the third round. If you're watching the fight, Khalil Roundtree is landing left down the pipe. Like I said, because Alex Pereira just leaves his head right there to be hit. And he was destroying this dude. He was up 3-0. And if we were my comments saying, like, it's like the easiest. Bro, he he lost because he got tired. Bro, Alex Pereira landed a lucky jab down the middle. And it was it, it was unlucky. It was it was pretty spot on. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> he shut his, his eye out. And the nigga couldn't see. And Khalil Roundtree, um, he acted like he had CTE. I mean, I think if he really would have just ran at Pereira and tried to take him down, he probably could have did it. But, you know, we're on to the next one. But the thing is, though. Khalil Ranji was the better man tonight. He was the better on the feet. I mean, he, I'm not going to say he was schooling him on the feet, but he was, he was getting a little lesson. Because I was prayer, he's used to just throwing a little left hook down, left hook, knee, you know, high kick, and then, you know, they're not blocking it because the European Oscar has no defense. You know, Jamal Hill, he's fat. That's about it. But Khalil Ranji gave him a little lesson about, you got to use some of your skills, buddy. He's kind of like Adesanya, you know. They both have good technique. When you're facing European Oscar, you can go out there and just, you know, spam left hook, knockout. It's pretty easy. Jamal Hill, fat, not athletic. Just spam left hook, knockout. But if people like Khalil Roundtree and Israel Adesanya, you got to pick your shots better or you're going to get hit like the way he did tonight. He got knocked down. He could have got finished. But, you know, Khalil, it's, it's at altitude. What, every time the UFC is at altitude, the challenger is always going to lose or not have, like, a good fight. Leon had a terrible fight against Usman. He comes back. The next fight beats him. Because he's better than Usman. He was just getting tired. Khalil Roundtree is, is better than Alex Pereira. But he got tired. Because there's that altitude. The champion has enough money where they can spend and get training. The appropriate training. To be used to the altitude. Khalil Roundtree's fighting on 60s and 60s. Bro. <laughs> Khalil Roundtree's going to book a flight to Utah and stay out there for how many? That's going to be his whole paycheck. Alex Pereira's on. Play 200 to show. 200 to win. Play pay-per-view. He got a lot from both the Adesanya fights. So he probably got about, no pocket watching, about five mil in the bank. Khalil Roundtree, he got about 200,000 in the bank. So you're telling me, how is he going to get, he gonna get the appropriate training to even fight Alex Pereira fairly? It's not fair. It's, this is not coping, bro. This is just the truth, bro. What challenger has had a good chance against a champion at altitude? None of them. Leon had to land a lucky. Leon had to land a lucky kick at the end of the fifth round, or he was getting dominated because he was tired. The next fight, he go out there and just schools Usman. Why is that? Because it's not altitude. Like, bro, I don't understand it, bro. The UFC was setting him up to lose. He still did really good. Like, first round, 1-0. Second round, knocks him down, head kicks him. I mean, y'all were acting like this was just clear domination. Bro, Alex Pereira won one round. Like, let's be serious, bro. But, I mean... I like Alex one because now, I mean, he can do what he wants to do. Hope he fights John Jones. But for tonight, he got saved by the UFC. Say I'm coping, say what you want to say. It's, you watch the fight. If you can watch the fight and you tell me that if Khalil Roundtree had the same energy, not the same energy, let's just say he's not altitude, right? So how tired he was in the, four, in the third round or the fourth round is how tired he probably would have been in the fifth round. So we go into the fifth round. Khalil Roundtree's probably up 4-0. He can just coast that round away. But the dude is literally dying. He, he's not, bro. He's dying in the fourth round and the third round. He's taking, he can't even really, he's not even exploding anymore. I mean, move this fight to about Las Vegas and New York. It's over in, it's over in the first three. Khalil Roundtree's going to land exactly what I said. But, you know, I forgot where they were. So, have a good one. Subscribe for more. I'll be back on another video.